countless memories, both new and old. I started playing Minecraft when I was a third grader, and I'm going into high school now, and yet I still get a kick out of it. So, for a third time, here are some more Minecraft stories. This first story is actually my most recent. So, it was a Saturday, and I was building the Las Vegas Bellagio on Cripsa's Realm. There was a storm going on outside, and my parents and cousins were on my porch. But I was inside busy building. Then, suddenly, the wind started to pick up outside, and they quickly came inside. Get out of my room! I'm playing Minecraft! We're only inside because of the storm that's happening outside. Okay, but could you please stay out of my room? Yeah, but just one thing. What the frick? Yeah, Sam for some reason thinks it's funny to pull out my fitted sheet. Anyways, I move out to the living room and keep playing, and then... Okay, now I know what type of girl you are in school. The Wi-Fi just cut out. My build! What was that noise? <gasps> a huge part of the tree just fell. Holy crap, it's like a fourth of the tree right there. Do you think it damaged the garage? Do you think the Wi-Fi will come back soon? What? Uh, guys? My friend just said that we can expect wind speeds up to 90 miles an hour. What? Dang it, I'll never get to finish my build now. See, that's why I did For those of you wondering how that storm ended up, in the end, that huge part of the tree fell, we lost Wi-Fi for a little while, a live post at our local Applebee's fell over, and my cousin's table in their backyard fell over. Interestingly enough though, their trampoline was okay. But the worst part of it all was I couldn't finish my build that night due to it. I had to come back the next day to finish it. Boo. Anyways, on my last video, which was my 250 subs Q&A, Zach Daily Games commented asking me to go in greater detail about the Minecraft club I was a part of. So, I guess I should do that. This club was definitely the popular kid club. If you weren't in it, you were lame. And it was, I think, 100% guys. Anyways, from what I remember, it was started by a good friend of mine at the time. And I even made a flag for it that they never used. What a great use of my time! And how much was required for you to get in? If you asked, you were in. And the club would do things like sit together in computer class, talk about Minecraft during lunch, it was great. Now, the club never really had a falling out where everyone was like, this club sucks, I quit. People just stopped acting upon the club once Minecraft hit its downfall in fifth grade. So I guess that means, since I technically never left, I'm still in the Minecraft club. Huh. Anyway, during the clubs and Minecraft's peak, Kenny had a Minecraft-themed birthday party at his house. And for this party, he had every food item themed after a Minecraft item. So those gold chocolate coins were gold ingots, those crumb Hershey kisses were iron, and cake was... cake. Anyway, so at this party, he had a giant inflatable slide that was about as tall as his house. It was fun at first, but soon it became a battle zone. You see, some kids would camp at the top of the slide just to push down other kids. And so it became a non-stop war of kids pushing them down and then trying their hardest not to end up sliding down. I was one of those kids they ended up pushing down a lot. One incident there I particularly remember was I was not ready to go down and these kids were about to push me down. So I held onto the slide for dear life. Then they grabbed my hands and then pushed me down. It felt like that scene of the Lion King would scar through a fox off the cliff. Guys! Help me! Ow! I'm a creeper, and you're the player. Anyways, at that birthday party, he got some large Minecraft book. I think it was about mods or something. However, I was jealous and wanted my own large book to show off. And so, for that Christmas when I got the big book of Minecraft, I made sure people knew about it. Hey guys, what am I doing? Oh, I'm just reading the big book of Minecraft. It's no biggie. Wow, that's cool. Wow, that's really cool. What? Oh, it's nothing. Speaking of books, whenever we'd have library day, it wasn't just library day, it was marathon day. You see, the library didn't have many Minecraft books, just the four handbooks. And so whenever we would arrive to the library, it was a race to obtain the books. <laughs> books. Well, would you like to be added to the waiting list? Ugh, fine, I guess. How many people are in front of me? Five. Okay, so that's how it's gonna be, huh? Who's first on that list? Uh, John Smith. Okay, okay. John Smith, you better remove yourself from that list right now! 
One last thing about the books. So recently, with Netherite becoming the new strongest armor slash tools in the game, I made a TikTok where I took the original essential handbook and crossed out the part of the book where it mentioned diamonds were the strongest armor in the game. And it did really well. 170,000 views and 25,000 likes, which was nice. However, after I did that, I realized from what I understand, those books have been discontinued. And since those books are now outdated, those books could be considered collector's items. And now I just ruined any chance I could have for making bank off of them in the future because I defaced the book. All for 25,000 likes. I hope it was worth it. So yeah, those are some more of my Minecraft stories. And trust me, these are my last. So yeah, thanks for watching. Well, since you're still here, here's me messing up the intro at the beginning. Okay, go, 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 go. I, oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it, aren't I? Dang it. Well, maybe it's... Okay, no, it's destroyed.